everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about the text tool. Honestly, bear with me, this is not just going to be about like how to use the text tool. I'm gonna teach you some neat trick like how to turn these into vector shapes and stuff. Okay, so bear with me, okay? So to add text to your layer, all you have to do is press on the text icon here, click, and then it's going to give you a typing <laughs> section. And you can just write your things. If you want things to be down, you can just press enter and you're gonna put them down and stuff. So, you know, you can do some pretty cool things. Then if you select your text, you can go here into tool properties and you can change the font. But honestly, why would you? Comic Sans is the best font that you can find. Uh, you can also make your things bold or italic. You can also change the way that your text is oriented. And then you can change the size, you can change the kerning, you can do auto kern, and you know, you can change the indent and the line spacing like that. The kerning allows you to increase or decrease the spacing between each character. The auto kern sets the kerning automatically based on the font's predefined standard. The indent allows you to increase or decrease the indentation of the first line of text in each paragraph. And the line spacing increases or decreases the space between each line of text. And you have your text. And the good thing is that since your text is vector, if you shrink it or if you make it better, bigger, uh, you're never going to lose um, quality. However, if you plan to use that like on your rig or on a billboard in your image and you want this to become like a vector shape that you can edit. So what you can do is you can take your text when you're done. One thing I recommend though is to have a backup. So sometimes I just take my text and maybe I'm gonna do a duplicate drawing. So I have both uh, frames in case. So if I screw up one, I can still go get the older one as a backup. And then once you have your text, what you can do is you can select it. And because it's text, all you can do currently is just move it with your select tool, maybe skew it and, you know, make it bigger. But that's all you can do. You can't use your contour editor or anything else because it is still text. So you can't do much with it. What you can do, however, is select it again with your select tool. And then if you go to drawing and you go to convert, you're going to see break apart text layer. So what this does is it's going to break your text layer into smaller vector pieces. So you can actually do that twice. So if I do it once, it's going to give me my letters one at a time and they're gonna be like a box, like that. It is still a text file, however, it's just going to give you your letters one by one as a little text thingy. So you can still use your treatment and whatnot and it still works. Then if you take your text again and you have your little letters that are individual, if you take that and you give it a second go <laughs> into the break apart text layer feature, if you click again, it's going to make your artwork fully vector. It means that you can no longer edit it with the text tool, but it means that you can edit it with the vector tool. That can be very useful. So if you want to have this maybe W as a logo on a t-shirt, or if you want to write this on a billboard, and maybe you want to edit it a little bit, you can do that with your tool, if you need to do that. So there's many things that ask for your art to be break apart into layers, such as like putting your text in a rig, because if you scale the rig, if you try to like use a deformer on the text, it's, it might not work and stuff. So, you know, always break apart your text layer if you're going to use them. And last but not least, if you want to have more fonts than the one that are in Harmonies, for example, I do have the Bebakai font. It's there because I installed it on my computer. So any fonts that you install on your computer in the traditional way is going to show up in your text file. And if you go in the search, you can also write the, what you're looking for. Sometimes it makes it faster to find it.